right, and here we are again. Hi, everybody. I love you. Yeah. Well, you know, sure. And the, <laughs> what does that mean? What? I, I was going to try to say something snarky and then figured, no, I do that too often. I'm bored with <laughs> that. Um, yeah, sorry if the volume was too loud at first. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we had it cranked up. We were trying to figure out the recording yeah. system and stuff. So we're, we're back with Animaniacs. They've, um, they've put graffiti all over the they've walls. They've clearly, and... yeah. They've uh, ruined the roofs. Our, our foul-mouthed cousin isn't here to be a bad influence on us, so it's just <laughs> the two of us again. Um, so he hopefully didn't see us play Animaniacs. He didn't. Nah, he clearly missed out. So Aww. here we are. Studio 3. Swing them, ho and, swing them low and hang them high. Remember the a la mode. Remember the a la mode. Mm -hmm. They just don't make movies like this anymore. I can't make the voice like I used to anymore. Fortunately, they don't make titles like it anymore either. No, they still do. I always used to pretend that I was Sheriff Jethro Anderson <laughs> galloping <laughs> into the sunset. You sound like a robot. I am Yakko Borg. I thought it was supposed to be the horse that galloped. <laughs> way, to ruin, way to ruin the gag, sis. <laughs> hey, Dottie, remember, remember whenever, no, whenever you talk to me, shut up. This guy, sorry. Well, we totally bombed those jokes there. That's fine. Admittedly, Did he just tell his little sister to shut up? Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time they've done it in the series. I mean, yeah, but jeez, man. Hey. Yeah, punch that guy in the gut. Yeah. Make him go to the hospital. Oh, yikes. Give him cancer. <laughs> oh, we got hurt anyway. Oh, well. All right, so moving on. Here we go. Mm. Whoa. Oh. oh, no. Okay. All right, come on, horse. I got to get... You told me how you ridden on a horse before. I did. How can you walk on top of the cactuses? They're supposed to be covered in nails. They're, they're props. Oh. Remember, they're, they're that, on a... That's right, that's right. They're on a movie set, so not everything... Not all is as it seems. Well, maybe they should have more control of the horses looks, there on the looks set. Looks are deceiving when both movies are involved and Koopas are involved, so... Koopas? It's a reference to that awful... Oh. <laughs> that awful <laughs> Mario CDI game. Oh, dear. Looks are deceiving when Koopas are involved. Are you ever going to show me that? Uh, it's Buttons and Mindy! I can show you the opening cutscene. I don't have the CDI... I don't think anyone ever bothered to make a CDI, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, there we go. <laughs> I don't think anyone ever bothered to make a CDI emulator, but I can certainly see, because, who are that game? <laughs> Aww. I think Somebody we mentioned before, you. I think we talked about it before, I actually, you know, we both actually liked Buttons and Mindy. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people, like, hated them. Mm -hmm. I always, I don't know, I've always thought the, the, the old cartoon gag of, like, the character having to look after some innocent accident prone kid was always funny to me because like you don't want to see the kid get hurt yeah. but like it's like because the character's an adult you're totally fine with seeing them get hurt it's but like it's that, a dog it's that it's that funny um it's that funny like uh double standard you know we have as 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 audiences or anything it's just really funny to me yeah <laughs> there we go oh how delightful uh oh, okay i got a time it. here we go ah there oh very nice. But yeah, I've always I always thought Buttons and Mindy were funny. Oh, I'm gonna mess your kids oh, up. Thanks a lot, Ralph. Way to, oh, I'm, I'm gonna squirt you with water. Way to go doing your job and everything. What even is that? I like the idea that Ralph's just like hosing them down like a couple of disobedient mm -hmm. dogs. Did Bobo just take a nasty crap? It smells horrible in here now. Yeah, probably. I mean, he is a cat. Gosh so he does. dang it. Okay, I'll that's, be right back. I'm going to check. That's what we get for putting his litter box directly next to our couch. Hey, hon. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's me. Okay. There we go. Well, the, the cat poop isn't me. That's not me. But Okay, here we go. There we go. And look, the hip hippos, the characters that I really everyone hated, <laughs> literally. I, I don't know anyone who thought they were funny. I sure didn't. It smells awful. <laughs> uh, oh, gosh. I have to close the door. Our, our cat's litter box is underneath our stairway, and thankfully there's a door to it. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay. Uh, if, oh, if, that's right. I can jump if on If we weren't recording right now, I'd open the the porch the porch door. Oh, there are no more barrels? Okay, I guess I'm good. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Ah, darn it. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Ah. <laughs> I, think, I don't know if I've talked about it before on here, but... Um, oh, boy. Oh, I, boy. Ooh. I've, um, I've had pets 
for my entire life. There was never a point in my life where I didn't have pets. I've always been surrounded by animals in my home. And um, I love animals oh, darn. intensely. Yeah. But at the same time, I personally feel like we had too many pets. Well, yeah, I, I, I've always thought that was weird with people like, oh, yeah, I've got five dogs and eight chickens and 12 cats. And all this. I'm like, why? <laughs> Unless you're living at a farm and half of these things are for food, why bother? Like, I love animals, but I don't love them that much. Well, we've, we've had rabbits before. Mm-hmm. Well, well, we've always had rabbits, actually. And um, my, my mom likes to have rabbits so uh-huh. she can... Um, so she can groom their fur mm-hmm. and um like some people will groom by like shearing their animals and mm-hmm. stuff like giving them a good shave that wasn't the case with the rabbits because um the the old coats would um stay on the new coats very gently mm-hmm. so then she would be able to pluck it off very very gently mm-hmm. whenever it came for them to get their old coat off right and that way they would still have their their new coat of fur under the underneath and they would just be kind of comfortable and stuff. Um, like sometimes She should have sheared off their fur and made them sweaters with the fur that she sheared off. It makes what? perfect no. sense. No! makes perfect logical sense. No! Sure the, it does. No, bunnies are fragile creatures. You can't just do that. That makes total sense. No, I, mean, I, I don't see what the problem is. Well, Utter, it's totally logical. You're just not going Well, clearly it. you're an evil person. I and am. no one should listen to you. I am an evil person. I'm <laughs> proud of this. Uh, I know there's something I'm missing here with how I'm supposed to do this. Here, here, go, go up top. Yeah. Push the blocks. Yeah. Push Here. Oh, well, okay, that's there. Okay, this one has to go down there. That's obviously that was down there, see? Okay, now this one. Uh, no, I can't do it that way either. Ah, this is tricky. Wait, I thought you already pushed that one box down there. It, it like, resets if you go too far in case, like, oh. you goof it up. Maybe I do just take a leap of faith from here. I don't think I can do, make that jump, leap though. Leap of faith! I feel like I need to make, need to get, like, one other box, but I can't grab this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, let's try this. Uh, nope. Oh, was, God! Yeah, that was fun. Poor Yakko. Yep. No, please don't hit us! <laughs> All right, continuing, yes. We're just 90-year-old children. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they are. Yeah, yeah they are. <laughs> At this point, what, the, um, the, what, the, the opening cartoon, um, the opening cartoon of, uh, Animaniacs, like the first episode says what, it was na- 1920, no, it wasn't 19, it was 1930-something. Yeah. When they were created. So, yeah, they would be about 90, about somewhere mm-hmm. between 80 to 90 years old Whee! now. Oh, excuse me. Gosh. Um, what was I saying? Um, pets. Yes. I've had a lot of pets before. I've had horses, dogs, cats, alpacas, ducks, chickens, anything turkeys, no, 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 no. Um, parrots, hamsters. Uh, I think I already said rabbits. Um, Four calling birds, three French hens, two, two turtle, turtle dogs, dogs, and, and a partridge in a pear tree. tree. Yeah, get lost, buttons. Hey, come on, you got a, you got an innocent child to protect. Give did me that I already, apple did I already that I don't do- need. Did I already say dogs and cats? I, yeah, I. If you didn't, I think it's implied. Oh well, I, I had dogs and cats. If, if if someone has all those animals, everyone always assumes it goes without saying that you got at least like two or three dogs and cats as well. Mm-hmm. My mom told me this really sweet story. Like, uh-huh. speaking of animals, I just remembered. Um, I remember her telling me a sweet little story of um, uh, about uh, she talked with one of her sisters before and how they both planned that when they were when they would grow up, mm-hmm. they were going to get a house for themselves and live together. And they'd have a lot of fun and they would have a pet spider monkey. <laughs> Of all the random things. No, because they love spider monkeys. It's just such a funny thing to, to, to like say, though. Mm-hmm. But I thought it was just so cute and endearing. And yeah. I, remember, I remember my mom telling me that story a long time mm-hmm. ago. Oh, yeah, I also had um, uh, an iguana, a big old one, mm-hmm. um, rats. Right. Uh, let's see, uh, snakes occasionally. Um, uh, I wish I had a pet hippo. <laughs> Like, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I got a puppy for Christmas one time. 
She was she was a good dog. She was a golden oh, retriever. Yes. Very lovely girl. Hmm. Yeah, she's she's passed away since then. Yeah. Um, but when she was around, she was a great dog. Um, she looked a little more like an Irish setter than a purebred golden oh, retriever, darn it. though. Oh dear! Careful. Okay, come on, come on, where those barrels? Oh yes, the, the life-giving of, stars. In the words of PewDiePie. Uh huh. Barrels. Uh, if I watch PewDiePie, I'm sure I'd be laughing my head off. You never off watched right PewDiePie? No. You uncultured swine. No, I again, I don't like let's plays. Ah, uh, well, actually, I, that's true. Although it's it's very ironic. I, you don't like let's plays, yeah. yet you're doing them. No. Yeah. <laughs> my gimmick, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> I'm sure that. Oh, what? what I'm sure uh, that will make uh, me buttons. very. Yeah. Buttons, are you okay over there? Buttons is never okay. Buttons constantly begs for the sweet release of death. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, okay. There goes the child. They'll, they'll be fine, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> they always are. Yeah, they're cartoon characters. They're, they're it's fine. always okay. Hmm. What do you think would be the weirdest pet? For you and I to have, if we were to consider getting another one. Um. Oh, Bobo! Just, you're, al you're already the weirdest pet we have. Just a disembodied cat's meow. That's the pet. It's just the sound of a cat meowing. But that's not. A, that's not a pet. Sure that's just. Is. That's a sound. Sure it is. It could be a pet. No, what, how? It just is. No, no, it's not. Sure it is. No, Matthew, you you need to make more sense of this. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, uh, my uh, oh, you know, I could probably jump from here and make it. Oh, or not. No, I was, How do I do I was, this? I would rather share a thought with you okay, on Okay, go that on, part. go on, go on. So, is it possible that you could push that box on top of the other one? Well, see, the thing is, this thing's in the way. You can't, like, push them both across from this side. You can't push them, like, from the left to the right of that platform because this is a solid platform. You can't go through it. That's where my that's where I'm stumped. So, this can clearly go down here, but where do I go from there? Oh, 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 no, no, no. So, so, okay. Let me see if I understand. Bring that one box just a tiny bit closer. Now pull that one and push it down so it lands on top of the other. All right. Oh yeah, duh. I don't know why I didn't consider that. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Once again, Fractious Lemon is stumped by the puzzle game that was meant for children. I'm a genius. Oh, great. Now I can't get, now I can't get up there. Help! Oh, boy. Um, uh, well, uh, maybe I'm not a genius. Um, well, I mean, you got the right idea. It's just I'm the one who's screwing it up now. <laughs> is this the end of our Animaniacs playthrough? <laughs> yes, I forever damaged the game, and it can never be played properly again. Aw, oh, man. Forever. Yeah, they restart the whole thing. See, and that's why those things go back, go back in case you goofed up like I did and mm -hmm. made an absolute stinking fool of yourself. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, there we go. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I don't like this anymore. True to the Warners, they don't obey or, or follow anyone's advice, not even the player. Yeah. Well, that would be like that would actually be like both funny and incredibly obnoxious really... if the game was like that. <laughs> that the Warners like refuse to obey your 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 uh, commands. It would because... literally make the game unplayable. Yeah, but again, that's what the Warner Brothers would do. Yeah, it's, it's just like you, you're mind controlling <laughs> them at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you telling me the, yesterday how um, like. There's a lot of games that come with good instructions, sometimes uh -huh. with bad instructions. Yeah. And then there was uh, the home improvement game. Yeah. Where its um, instruction manual just has a big label on the instructions that says "Real men don't read instructions," because you know it's like making fun of uh, uh, having fun with the, the main character home improvement. Like the whole idea was he was like Mr. Macho, was like, "Oh yeah, I'm Mr. Tough Guy. I don't need instructions." Of course, but like always screw up his own projects because of it because he like you know was too interested in being cool than actually getting things done right mm -hmm. um but at, apparently the game is like so complicated you really need instructions but like yeah. like well screw you too bad it's it's very it's pretty funny it's it's disappointing but it's funny oh hi kitty kitty unfortunately there are a lot of really bad 
uh, games like that. There's a reason where there was... I mean, it's still kind of considered a role, I guess, with some people, but um, there, you're sort of like the role of... Uh, licensed games are always bad. There's no such thing as a good licensed game. Wait, um, what? Yeah, that's been like a gamer role for ages, especially like back in like the 80s and 90s. Because, I mean, there were so many games like that, like, uh, you know, Home Improvement or... Um... Honey, you might be in trouble. No, no, I just back up a little bit. Uh-oh, Norman, maybe not. Uh-oh, let's see what happens. Um, Home Improvement or... Um... Oh, gosh, what was it we Do were watching? Do you have to risk your life? Yes. And, like, kill yourself a little bit? You know, real artists... You have to put these children through a suicidal attempt in Look, order to make it across? The Warner Brothers may not have ever actually properly gotten their uh, their time in the spotlight because this, they, their cartoons were too annoying and everything for, for uh, the studio. But it is true. They are entertainers. They were creative entertainers. And the true to Hollywood, to entertainment, you know, you suffer for your art. So, yes, this is what you have to do. Oh, boy. Um... Okay, I, I want to say that... You're not suffering very much. No, well, the thing is, I want to say that I can make those... You should suffer some more. The, God, boy. <laughs> I want to say you can make those crates regenerate, but we'll uh, see what happens. Stop. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, I survived, okay. So you have to lose a bit of life. I think the idea is that, like, moving those crates like I did to get the items in the back is kind of a trap. You're not uh, supposed to do it. Whee! Oh, oops. Okay, here we go again. But anyway, yeah, that oh, was kind of like a thing that people were like, oh yeah, licensed games are always bad. It flips! <gasps> what the... Because there were a lot of bad licensed games, like the Home Improvement game. But then there's games like this that are like, no, this is actually a really fun little licensed game. <laughs> I, I, um... I, I never subscribed to the all licensed b games are bad thing. I just knew that when it came to licensed games, it was certainly a gamble. Um, for a while, I subscribed to the theory though that at least all disney games were good because they kind of had like a good like track record for a while that they were really good like yeah ducktales there was um DuckTales, woo. Uh, i think i remember there was like a tailspin game that was a fun like air shooter or whatever there like there were some good games but then i also quickly learned no there's some stinkers why is there just a random crate stuck in the wall it's a little secret area you got to figure out how to get in there that's a secret area sure I don't it, looks know like, get, it looks like a glitch to me. I don't know how to get there right now, so we'll have to figure that one out. I think uh -oh, it's a glitch. Uh -oh. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, ah! no. Ah! And uh, that, of course, is a common uh, trick back then, too, is, hey, let's put a... <laughs> oh, no. Let's put an extra life in an area where you're guaranteed to die just to mess with the player. That's that They used to do that a lot in these old games. Of course, it could be it could be of course a case of life insurance where they're like, yeah, because God this dang it. because this area is hard to avoid. Fire is so unforgiving. Yeah, I think the idea is like because this area is so hard to avoid, we're gonna at least give you uh, essentially life insurance to make it across. If you fall in, at least grab that extra life so you can try again. There we go. All right, come on, let's do this, Dot. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> Sorry, I I I got spooked. Aw, look at her. Ooh. It's the nurse. Hello, right. nurse. Oh, good thing of playing Dot. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, I gotta get the god pigeon to come over here. I don't know if he I think I got him. Oh, no, I didn't. No? No. I hear, like, the little sound where he's like, whoop! Where you have a little heart oh, to be. There, there we there go. He is, there, he is. there we go. Okay, so I charmed the god pigeon. Uh, ah! I know. Hey, let's just oh. come down here real quick. Oh, phew. Yeah, I can see that. That's how I get there. Oh. Can I move uh -oh. that out of the way, oh. the echo. See? Yeah. That's you, it. Yeah, you get used to this kind of stuff when you play ah. video games. You see things, you get trained. You know, you're like, oh, I know where that's going. Move that a little bit. Give yourself a more jumping room. Ha ha. Ah! See, there you go. <laughs> It's oh, hi! Brain is Bubba Bo Bob Aww, Brain. Aww, I yeah. love that episode! Oh, we just killed an innocent mouse. No, yeah, they'll be fine. I have a question. Yeah. Are, are Pinky and Brain sort of related in a sense since their genes have been spliced? No. What it's, does that it's mean? Not like, it's not as though like they did experiments that turned them into each other or anything like that. It's just like... um. I think I've got to do something to get 
get Mindy going, but I guess not. Maybe you need oh, to. Go. Yeah, okay. You gotta wake her up there. Oh. Because like oh, Mindy oh. has to like trigger something that gets this thing going or something. Uh. Oh no no wait, don't hit Mindy. That's not nice. Uh, no, I guess not. Okay, no, it just makes it easier to jump to the god pigeon. Uh -huh. I see. Okay. Or well, now now I gotta go around anyway. Okay. Oh no. Woo! That's all right. They provide alternate routes. Uh, but no, they, it's not like they're like clones of each other or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's just like, obviously the, the, they're, they're laboratory mice. They're, they're test subjects. So, you know, they've probably done different experiments that like, okay, brain, you know, brain's brain is bigger because of the results of some tests or maybe that's how we got to be so smart or something, you mm -hmm. know, oh, well, things like that. Like, that's sort of like the idea. Whee! Sweet. Maybe pinky. Pinky's weird outbursts and noises might be, like, the result of some sort of experiment where he's, like, essentially kind of, like, he's, like, glitching out wiggling? or something. Ah! Ugh, this is tough. What in the heck is going on here? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got to hit that platform and get it to fall and then jump at the right time to get to the platform there with that um, dynamite plunger. That's See? a dynamite plunger? Yeah. I thought it was like some weird bronze plant in a bronze pot. <laughs> a bronze plant. That's See, what there it looked like. Oh. Let's see if it opens the door there. Hooray! Oh, the moon is all funky. Mm -hmm. Die, those stinking kids! Die, deal with the F word, bud. <laughs> my, my mom tells me not to. Ralph's got better manners than that. Yeah, he would be pretty disgusted if someone else did say Ralph, it. yeah, I was like, Ralph would be the one who's like, the shame that's, on you. That's literally. really rude. I'm going to have to call the police on you. Right. You know, honestly, Ralph... Oh, darn it. No, I, oh, I wanted that's the thing. That's really rude. I'm going to have to call the police on you. But I say, you. Ralph probably would actually phrase it that way. Exactly. Call the police. <laughs> he would. I forgot. What's your favorite Sonic fan dub by Snapcube? Um, the, oh, mm, that's a tough one. I, I mean, everyone loves the Doctor Robotnik rant in the second one mm -hmm. in Sonic Adventure Two, where he's like, the, uh, "Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna pee on the moon." <laughs> um, how do you like that, Obama? You idiot! <laughs> randomly calls out Obama <laughs> for no good reason. Um. Obama is a strong figure to the to America. America. I would never say such a thing. Um, <laughs> of course, their take of it is way better. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> we're just, we're I would probably say <laughs> it's probably uh, that moment, definitely, but probably also um, the Sonic Ooh. Riders one, I think, is really funny when, like, Storm the eagle or whatever he is. I always forget what kind of uh, animal he is. But he's when he, an albatross. Yeah, Storm the albatross has, like, his... Uh, his weird moment of self-awareness that he realizes they're all video game characters. And then Hatsune Miku comes in out of nowhere. Yeah, and he's like, what's going on? Why can't I move my mouth? Why can't I move my eyes? Is this all there is? Is this an eternal dialogue? I can't see Hatsune the end of the horizon. Hatsune Miku, have you come to put me out of my misery? It's, it's a really funny You're going to have to make a little harder than that. <gasps> I didn't swear. I didn't it, swear. It's, we're going to have to censor it anyway. Oh, but I, but I made it you, sound... It, oh. it, it was still very clear what you said. Gosh dang it. This is a really hard boss fight, by the way. Just Look at all these delicious pies. It's easy enough to dodge Ralph, but like timing those hits is a real pain. I love this ride. I would love to go on oh, this well, ride. I, as I say, it's, tied, it's a real pain, and then I start like hitting him every single time. <laughs> Well, I was. It's kind of like the reverse uh, way it is with Markiplier, oh, where he's all like, I'm really good at this game. And then he immediately jinxes himself, yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I kind of figured. Yeah, take that, Ralph. Aww. Hooray! We've killed a man! <laughs> well, siblings, it looks like we're going to jail. <laughs> Who would their who would their attorney be? <laughs> Chicken Boo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's a chicken, I tell you. <laughs> a giant chicken. It's another one again. I, so many of these like bits that I know people talk about, they hated them, or whatever. It's like yeah, Chicken what's, Chicken what's, Boo was funny. What's your problem? Yeah, what's there to hate about 
the chicken boo. I think that the big thing is like people hated that it was just the same joke. They always knew it was going to happen. But like, I don't know, to me, that was part of what made chicken boo so funny is you mm-hmm. knew what the gag was going to be. It was to me, it was like, it's this weird case in which the setup is funnier than the punchline. Yeah. It was just seeing the one character who seems to get it and everyone else is like, oh, how me. dare you say that about him? That's so rude. And mm-hmm. it just, it's really funny. They're like, really? None of you guys pick up that this guy is clearly a chicken, mm-hmm. a very poorly disguised chicken. <laughs> I don't know. I, again, I, th- I thought they were hilarious cartoons, but speaking of chickens, mm-hmm. I miss having chickens. Not that I would suggest that we get any. Mm-hmm. Cause... All that work to get a thing I didn't need. I just realized that. Oh, well. Well, that was stupid. At least now for the, all of two people who are going to play this game, you know, uh, in the I'm year just gonna stand 2022, up here. they'll know how to get through that area now. Yeah, so long, Ralph. Oh, I hate you guys. Blow your little kiss. Bye-bye. Oh, I uh, remember this part. You just killed yourselves. <laughs> I remember this part. Die. Your mother never loved you. <laughs> oh, oh, darn it. I forgot. It, it, if it bounces off, you get hurt. Oh. Aw, kitty. Kitty, look at my hand. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! That's right. Okay. Now you okay, so I just gotta, man. Yeah. Oh, no. Ah, ah! darn it. Oh no! Uh-oh. Oh no! Well, ah! yeah, Wacko still looks. So- oh, oh no! Never mind. I was about to say he looks okay. Now they, oh, boy. Now they all look a little. Panicked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, uh-oh. okay. It's up. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh. Okay. Wait. Well, I've knocked his cap off. Okay, maybe that's a good sign. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh no! No! Oh no! Matthew, you moron! Yeah. Well, here we go again. I hope you guys enjoy watching us play through this bit again for the hundredth time. Yay! Uh, maybe it won't start at the very beginning of the level. I mean, we'll we see. might cut this out. Nope, I don't know. that's at the very beginning of the level again. Are you kidding I'm me? I'm not kidding. This is bullcrap! Yeah. That's I demand a refund! <laughs> I'm sure the audience will too. So tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna call it quits for now and okay. we'll come back after we finish this level and they can enjoy seeing something better. Alright, bye! Mm-hmm. Don't take any wooden nickels. And well, I mean, if you do, I guess you can eat them, maybe. I Put them know. in your cereal and pour milk on them and yeah. eat them like that. Don't you just love giving bad advice? I know yeah. I do. What are you Good talking night, about? It's great. What are you talking about? It's great advice. <sighs>